We're in Vancouver, Canada, where 30-year-old Aaron Urian and his fiance Heather have lived for over 10 years. For their first home together, Aaron and Heather don't just want to live near the water, they want to live on it. They're planning to design and build a waterborne home, a house that floats on water. They want to moor it here at the Creek Marina, an innovative five-year-old development on Vancouver's North Shore that's an easy commute from the city. Key features for Aaron and Heather's floating home include an office for Heather, a high-end kitchen, a fireplace, and space to feature artwork. It's taken almost six months to complete Aaron and Heather's dream floating home. Today is moving day. Donnie's tug crew must tow the 76-ton house through the treacherous Second Narrows, a particularly fast-flowing stretch of water, avoiding sea buses and giant container ships to reach the mooring at Creek Marina. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze getting in. There's yachts on his port side and on his starboard side coming in. Steering the house through the currents and yachts to its mooring won't be easy. One more corner, one more corner. Final step, anchor the house into its mooring. There it is. There it is. Thanks, Tony. In place. <laughs> Eight months after deciding to take the plunge and build a floating home from scratch, Aaron and Heather have a spectacular, unique, family-friendly home. It was a little bit stressful, trying to get it all together. It's not a normal kind of build. It's it, all worth it. it it's <laughs> worth it, yeah. Finding something where we both are ha quite happy to come home to, excited to come home to, is a super win for both of us. I'm very, very lucky. <laughs> I could swim to lunch. I mean, who can say that? You're taking something that's close to 200 tons and putting it in the water. It looked good on land, it looked gorgeous in the water.